Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk. Let's build a wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this block, knock it down a bit size-wise, and make it into a brick. So as Z, scale it down this way. As X, scale it down the other way. And something like this should look pretty good and brick-like. And I think we're good. Yep, so that's kind of nice. And I'm immediately going to apply the physics. Now I do it just on one brick, so when I copy it out, it'll be on every brick. It's active by default, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now I'm gonna to go to the properties, and I'll add an array. This is going to do an array. I don't want it along the X, so I'll kind of kill that. I do want it along the Y, so 1.05 should be about right, just so I have this little gap between it, because I like that, I just do. Bring this up, whatever works. 10, I guess, is fine. Nice looking wall there. That's one array. Now I'm going to do it along a different axis, so I need an array of an array, so I'm going to do another one. So the second array is not going to be pushed out like that. The second one is on the bottom, by the way. And so I'm going to get rid of that. The X is going to be zero. Good. And just bring it up along the Z. That looks pretty good. I want to move it along the Y. Oh, wow, it's moving like crazy. Uh, let's try a 0.05. And that looks pretty good to me. So now all I need is a third array of this whole thing to build it up. So yes, three arrays to build a brick wall. Third array. And the third one's down here. The X, I don't want anything in there. I just want to build it along the Z. So Z offset one. Looks pretty good. And bring it up. Yeah, looks pretty good. Looks like a nice wall. That looks pretty solid, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so I got my wall built, I'll select it. Trouble is now it's all one piece and you can't break it apart, which is half the fun. So what do I do? Well, if you don't wanna break it apart, you're done. You've got a beautiful, beautiful brick wall, but I do wanna break it apart. So what I have to do is make these bricks separate. The first step to doing that is make them independent. So I'm going to have to apply each of these arrays. That makes them real in a sense. So good, they're all applied now. Now the next step is to separate them out. And I can go into edit mode, go to mesh, separate by loose parts, boom. Now you see over here how that one cube became a whole bunch of them? They're all separate entities now, all individual items, which is ideal. Go into object mode, and right now they all have the origin at the one specific spot, which stinks. You have to have it center to each individual brick or else it won't break right, so. Object, set origin to geometry. There we go, beautiful. Now we're ready. Now we've got a brick wall that could be knocked down. So I'm gonna add a mesh plane just to give it a ground. Scale that way up because of course. Go to a side view so I can see it and move it down a little bit. That looks pretty perfect to me. Now the ground is going to have physics on it but this is going to be passive. So it just stays there and just holds the wall up. That's all it's gonna do. Nice, now I've got a brick wall. Let's go ahead and knock it down. So why not? I'm gonna add a mesh. Oh, let's do an icosphere. Cool. Let's bring it up a little bit. Now it looks nice. And just move it over and scale it way down. All right, I'm gonna have this icosphere bash through everything. So I'm gonna knock through the wall. I think I'll do an auto record, just have it record the position there. Bring it out to about 10 or so. And G, move it through there. Perfect. Let's give it a few more frames. I'll hit G again, just to set that keyframe. Bring it out again, a little bit of a different angle, and hit it about there. So that's ideal. Now if I play it back, let's go ahead and bring this back a little bit. If I play this, it's not gonna do much. It's gonna go through it, but that's it. It's not gonna do any hitting, which is no fun, so let's fix it. What I need to do to make this interact with the physics is to add physics of its own. So over here in the physics properties, give it a rigid body, and all I'm gonna do is say, yeah, it's animated. If you don't, it's just gonna drop like regular ball in the air, it's gonna fall down. But no, tell it it's animated, so it follows your keyframes. Now when I play it, how's that for fun? So I'm totally bashing the wall apart. <laughs> That's how you do it. We just built a wall and destroyed it. 
in a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how it's done. Enjoy.